The price was really too good to be true. We really thought there must be something wrong with it. It was such an amazing deal. And this really worth the price that we paid and much more. I would say that probably worth almost the double of the amount that we paid for it. So we just had a surprise. Turns out the previous owner breached the agreement. He decided to... Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Rafael and this is Mia. We are the founders of MOL Portugal, a company that helps you buy and rent properties and also do renovations in Portugal like a local. Through our videos, you can see how we shared our client's experience buying with us, renovate with us in Portugal. But we thought it could be also very interesting for us to share our own experience as property investors in Portugal. Where we are standing now, it's a property we bought two years ago without seeing we just saw the listing photos and because the apartment had a lease attached to it so we couldn't really come in to see it we'll explain you why we really wanted to buy this property and why we bought it we were so decisive we decided within the day and stay to the end you will find out why we wanted to buy this apartment without actually seeing it <laughs> I'm excited and nervous. Me too. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Open it. It's actually better than I thought. We waited so long for this moment to actually be here. What do you think? It's not bad, right? I actually like this place. It's really not bad. It's small. We knew this. Let's take a look. How many square meter was it? 50. So, and actually I like it because the building is under renovation and we paid absolutely zero for it. So we just came By in. luck. <laughs> at the right time and discovered that the apartment is really not so bad condition. Of course, we need to do a lot of renovations here to make it nice, but it's actually cool. It was a great price as well. So we are, we were kind of very lucky with this apartment. Look at the bedroom. We just saw this on pictures before. Yes. So we are entering in it for the first time after two years. Because in the meantime, the, the previous seller had a tenant here with a long-term contract. So the tenants just decided to move out this weekend, this past weekend. So this is the first time that we are actually seeing the apartment that we bought two years ago. <laughs> we even have a balcony. Can you go up there? Because I'm very curious about what's up. I'll give you the camera. This is great for storage. Kids. You mean put the kids there? Yeah, for a couple <laughs> who has kids. Perfect. No. It's like a little creep here. There's not much space. But I found plenty of storage here. Do you remember the listing photo? It was very confusing because the space was small, but the photos really felt like there are different sections of the apartment. So now I started to remember, okay, some photos is from there, some photos is from here. And actually, they already built some built-in uh, storage space. Oh, that's Which cool. is not bad. Yeah, and it has these uh, wardrobes here as well, on this side and also on the other side. Okay. Shall we go to Let's uh, go on. the other side of the apartment? So we just had a surprise. Turns out the previous owner breached the agreement. He decided to... 
take the aircon with him. We were left with the hall. Yes. And actually, there's still there the, the big compressor, the <laughs> unit. So. What really Ooh. attracted us was this kitchen space has a big window, although it's very small, but we're in the center of Seattle. Mm -hmm. I would say this is a perfect space for short-term rental. And we had a discussion if we should do renovation or we should just rent it out because now we are in end of September, we're still in part of the high season. But then we decided on the way here, we're going to renovate it. I think it's a right decision, huh? especially after seeing the apartment itself. Renovation is in our bones, right? <laughs> yes, it kind of made me uncomfortable thinking just leave it like this without doing any work. So let's check. This is a small apartment. This is actually a one bedroom apartment, but it's really well located. It's in the very center of Lisbon in the Chiado neighborhood. And the good part of it, and this is actually the reason that uh, we decided to buy it, it's because it's a building um, that was constructed like in the early 2000s. So it's a quite recent building for Seattle standards. And beside that, this is like one of the few properties in Seattle that you can actually find something relatively new with garage and also with the elevator. We are on the second floor. So it was uh, actually a very good decision that we made at that time to buy it. And uh, now that we are seeing it, we are actually happy that we made that decision. Ah, oh, it's quite big. I remember The this. pictures cannot tell. But I remember this bathtub. Wow. This is so old school 80s or 90s or whatever. <laughs> Look at this. The tenant like is, the tent is <laughs> actually, yeah. the tenant has actually left it quite clean and here it's very weird this is a very weird fall ceiling insulation <laughs> what is this yeah i know it's strange so bathroom so this goes to the list yes this <laughs> terrible curtain old school one but the bathroom is quite uh, you know spacious for it a is. one bedroom apartment we have water wow we, have we water. still have water So shall we start with the living room? My first suggestion. There's a lot of suggestions. <laughs> we need yeah. air conditioning. And we also need to replace the entire floor. You see, it's kind of old and uh, yeah. got some old infiltration here and the sun damage it. So we need a new floor. What about this window? This That's window true. is actually not that bad. Yeah. This window is different than the bedroom one. Really? Yes, so they didn't change everything. Let's go see really? it. No. Yes. Oh, yes. So Look. this is the original one, the oldest yeah. one. Wow, it's, so they didn't change so everything. So it's an old aluminum one painted. I'm so happy about this balcony though. Yeah, we have a balcony. Let's go see the... Someone can get suntan here. In the center of Chiado. So we need to replace this window. Yes. At least. So trying to sum up, new flooring, a new window, new aircon. We cannot install here a false ceiling with spots uh, because the ceiling is not that high. No. So it will feel like uh, very low. But it's better to just keep this one. And maybe in the, in the wall we can have some lights as well to make it more cozy and nice. So here, floor, of course painting all, right? We need to paint it all. Light, flooring. Trying to make calculations of the amount of money I still need to spend okay. here. New switches, these are old ones. And then a full renovation in the bathroom, no? And we don't need to keep this bathtub. No. A shower <laughs> would look nicer. Yeah. And I think we need to do some insulation there because yeah. it looks like there's nothing that really is much this. going on. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A full renovation of the, the bathroom. Sure. And then this beautiful kitchen also needs to go. Everything needs to go. And this is not even stone, so it's those wood kind of counter we didn't speak with you guys yet about why did we buy this besides being a good investor and what is the goal for this apartment so after seeing it that's what we're doing now 
we will proceed with uh, doing some renovations, this light renovation that I've been talking about. And then uh, after it, we will rent it out. So as you know, the market in Lisbon is very hot, uh, especially in this area uh, or also in this area. So this will be a very easy uh, rent. So we will uh, proceed later on to rent it out, put it in the market and uh, keep it as it is in our portfolio. So because it will be a rental property and to uh, minimize the liability and the hassle and everything, we will cut off all the gas, water heater and uh, the stove. We'll switch everything to electric. It will be safer and it will be less complicated when we have tenants here as well. It's also because in Portugal, the gas companies usually request regular checkups and inspections. So you need to make sure you have people at home. Usually they give you a schedule or time window from like 8 to 12. <laughs> so you need to really make sure you are there during these hours. For all those reasons, we felt like, no, this is not worth it and let's just switch everything to electric. Actually, this is what we advise to our clients and this is what we've been doing for our rental properties as well. <laughs> oh, well, it's cool. <laughs> so it's time to close it. We'll close also the water because no one will be living here while we'll be doing the renovations and it's closed here as well. Wow, they have the uh, Spurão, azeite Spurão, olive oil from uh, Spurão is always a good one. I'm not doing advertisement, I really like it. So here we are at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and if you're interested in watching more about this topic of the properties that we've been purchasing for ourselves, leave your comments below and make sure to follow us also on TikTok, Instagram and of course here on YouTube as well. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.